In the dark and foggy streets of Victorian London, a series of gruesome murders sent shockwaves through the city. The year was 1888, and Marion Nichols became the first of Jack the Ripper's confirmed victims. In this chilling account, we delve into the haunting story of a woman whose life was tragically cut short, marking the beginning of one of history's most notorious crime sprees. The alleys of Whitechapel were rife with poverty and despair, and it was here that Marion Nichols, a destitute woman seeking refuge, met her tragic fate. Struggling to make ends meet, she wandered these grimy streets, often seeking shelter in the DOS houses that dotted the neighborhood. Marion Nichols, known to her friends as Polly, had once lived a different life. Born into a working-class family, she married and had children. However, a series of misfortunes led to the unraveling of her life, the death of her husband, the loss of her children, and her descent into alcoholism and homelessness. On the fateful night of August 31, 1888, Marion Nichols was last seen alive by witnesses, intoxicated and soliciting clients on the street. The city's gas lamps cast an eerie glow as she walked into the shadows, unaware that her life was hanging by a thread. The following morning, as the dawn broke over the East End, Marion Nichols's lifeless body was discovered in a narrow alley. The scene was gruesome, her throat had been brutally slashed and her abdomen mutilated. The savagery of the attack was a chilling indication that a fiend was lurking in the shadows. He murder of Marion Nichols set a macabre pattern that would come to define the Jack the Ripper case. The killer's methodical approach, particularly the mutilations inflicted upon the victims, sent shockwaves through the city. Authorities began to grapple with the terrifying reality of a serial killer on the loose. Anic and fear swept through London as news of the gruesome murder spread. Women, especially those who worked in the streets, lived in constant dread of the faceless murderer stalking the alleys. The police force found themselves under immense pressure to capture the elusive killer. The investigation into Mary and Nichols's murder faced numerous challenges. With limited forensic technology and a lack of modern investigative techniques, the police struggled to gather concrete evidence. Suspects came and went, but the identity of the Ripper remained shrouded in mystery. Marion Nichols's tragic murder was just the beginning of a terrifying saga that would span several months. The Ripper would go on to claim the lives of more women, leaving behind a trail of horror and confusion. The impact of these crimes reverberated through history, leaving an indelible mark on London's psyche. The legacy of Jack the Ripper endures to this day. The identity of the killer remains a mystery, captivating the imaginations of true crime enthusiasts, historians, and storytellers alike. Marion Nichols's tragic end serves as a haunting reminder of the brutality that can lie hidden in the most ordinary corners of society. As the fog of time shrouds the past, the story of Marion Nichols and the terror of Jack the Ripper continue to intrigue and unsettle. Her life, marked by hardship, intersects with a gruesome chapter in history that refuses to fade away. In the shadows of Victorian London, the mystery of Marion Nichols's murder lingers, a testament to the enduring power of the unknown. Subscribe to my channel if you like these historical videos and click on the top left box for the story of the dark day of New England. Thanks for watching.